In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up custom states for your items in inventory. But before we do that, I'd like to explain what a state is. States are any information about individual items related to their dates, times, places, conditions, or manners that define their existence. The most common example of a state is a serial number or an expiration date. You may have multiple items that are the same thing, but they're distinguished by different expiration dates or different serial numbers. And what we call that kind of information is a state. So let's go ahead and set those up. Under the admin tab, we'll click uh, state fields. We'll click new state and we'll create one called serial number. We'll make it a text field. And save. The next state we'll make will be an expiration date. That'll be a date time field. and we'll click Save. The last field I'm gonna create is called Order Number. It's very common, based on an order number, for organizations to set aside quantities of stock to fulfill those orders. And it also helps you group things like pick lists so that you can pick them in an organized, pick items in an organized fashion. We'll make this a text field. and we'll click Save. So now we have three different states that items can have. They can have a serial number, an order number, or an expiration date. And by applying any of these three types of information to any items, we will distinguish those as different from other items that are otherwise the same. To, draw, or to bring this fully through, let's click on Inventory. And let's say that of these 23 units, 10 of them expire 30 days from now. To change the expiration date for those 10 units, we would click in this empty area here under expir expiration date and click change. We'll enter the quantity that we're applying the expiration date to and we'll pick March 4th. Now, at the same time, if I wanted to change other states like serial number or, or, or order number, I could do that here, but we'll just stick with this one uh, state and we'll click Save. And now notice what happens. We have 10 units of this block that expire on March 4th. The 13 remaining units have not had an expiration date applied to them. And so you could see we started originally with 23 units that all had the same exact states but now these 10 are distinguished as different from the other 13 by virtue of an expiration date. We'll get into uh, more into state changes and different kinds of states in other videos, but for now I wanted you to understand how you can create these custom states so that you can track things like expiration dates, serial numbers, order numbers, batch numbers, and the like. Thanks for watching.